Hi, I'm Sapien Tia. This is a very introductory step course for beginners. 4.3 Before going to ANOVA One way ANOVA third. So far, um, we know that why we should learn the new step uh, test one way ANOVA. As we said so far, um, the multiple t-test is impossible because of the type 1 error. So we have to learn the new method one way ANOVA. In this video, um, we learn uh, what we should know before going to ANOVA. As I said, the ANOVA is like this. When you have uh, three colleges, college students, uh, especially male students height. We want to compare these three college students, male students height. We cannot use the multiple t-test. We have to use the one-way ANOVA. But before going to the ANOVA, we have to know the variables used in ANOVA. In statistics, there are some assumptions and regulation. The regulation is like a law. Here, we are saying about the law. The first law is, in ANOVA, dependent variable should be always and only continuous variable. And uh, in ANOVA, in ANOVA, the independent variable should be always and only discrete or categorical variable. This is the rule. This is a, this is a law. Mm -hmm. You have to follow this rule. Um, if you don't understand what is the um, continuous and categorical variable, you have to check the video 1.5 variables in the series of uh, fundamental statistics. Anyway, this is very important because uh, in ANOVA, in ANOVA, always the dependent variable should be continuous and the independent variable should be categorical variable. Let me check the example, the first one. Uh, very long time ago, the researchers could um, examine the child aggression by showing some video. So their research question was uh, what type of uh, video what type of program has the greatest impact on child regression? So their um, experimental setting is like this. Um, they have uh, uh, three types of video. First one is uh, violin videos, second one is uh, soap operas, and finally uh, infomercials. At first time, the researchers let child show watching some video, one of three types of video. And after watching the video, the child is going to observation room. And there, the trained observer check the uh, child aggression. So the trained uh, um, observer just make some score of uh, child aggression. Okay, in this case, what is the dependent and independent variable? The dependent variable is child aggression behavior score. Of course, this score is measured by some trained uh, observers, maybe they are uh, psychologists. This score is continuous variable. And next, the independent variable in this example is a type of video. We have three types of video. So we call it, we have uh, three levels or we have uh, three groups in the independent variable. The first one is uh, violin movies. Second one is uh, soap operas. Finally, Informers. Okay. If you wanna test 
one way ANOVA, you have to know, you have to identify what is the dependent, what is independent, and uh, you have to know the dependent variable should be continuous, and uh, independent variable should be categorical variable. It is very important. If not, the ANOVA, 1A ANOVA, couldn't be used. It's not working. Okay, second example. A uh, pharmaceutical company would test the effect of COVID-19 cure. In this case, maybe this company just uh, developed new COVID-19 cure and they want to check, test, uh, this new cure is uh, effective or not. So, in this case, the dependent variable is days until patient was completely recovered. So the days, days is number. So this uh, variable is a continuous variable. So it's okay. We can use the ANOVA. And next, the independent variable in this example, we have three levels, three groups of independent variable. The first one is a new COVID-19 cure, second one is a influenza cure, finally placebo. Mm -hmm. So in this case, the dependent independent variable is categorical variable, so it's okay. Yeah, right. Finally, um, an internet pro service provider company, ISP company, want to compare their customers' total charges according to their payment method. In this example, the dependent variable is the total charges by customer. Here, the to to total charges means the money, the amount of money paid by customer. So, is a continuous variable. Okay. Next, the independent variable has a, a four level, four groups. First one is a bank transfer and a credit card, electronic check, mail check. So we have a four level, four groups of independent variable. This independent variable is categorical variable. So Okay, yeah, we have a very good case for one-way ANOVA. Mm -hmm. And next, I want to talk, uh, talk about uh, how to coding for ANOVA because uh, uh, my students frequently ask some questions how to do coding for ANOVA. They were confused many times. Okay, first, as you can see here, this is a screenshot of uh, Excel. Uh, many people use uh, Excel for coding. In this case, the low, the low, the low is, the low is an observation. In statistics, we call it observation. What is the observation? Um, in this case, this is the final examples data. The low is uh, one person and same person. So you can see here the same person's information. For example, okay, this customer's uh, number is like this, and this customer is a male, and uh, no partner, no dependencies, um, tenure, 30, oh, no, no, 34 years, phone service, yes. And the internet service is a DSL anyway. So this low, one low, means one person, one customer's information. Same person, right? So if we have uh, uh, here, for example, if we have a, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 23 lows, it means that we have a 23 customers here, right? This is an observation that is low and second the column column is in statistics column is variable okay so um, the top low is a variable name 
top low top low means uh, the number one low number one this is a variable name tenure dependent partner senior citizen gender internet service online uh, anyway yeah so um, the most important thing here is a uh, one column is a uh, one variable you have to remember this point one column is one variable mm -hmm. so in our last example the dependent variable was a uh, total charges this is a dependent variable as you can see here this is the numbers right uh, this number means a uh, kind of uh, uh, the amount of money paid by customers this is a continuous variable so it can be used as a dependent variable in one way ANOVA right and second the uh, independent variable is payment method as you can see here we have a four levels for groups of payment method electronic check mail check bank transfer and credit card uh -huh. uh, many students are confused when uh, they are calling this part at first time many students make a four independent variable pay math, uh, payment method one two three four and then for the payment method one electronic check two mail check three for bank transfer no 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 because we have one independent variable in one way ANOVA as I said the one one way ANOVA is one means we have only one independent variable so we have only one column right so you have to code the four types of payment method in one column like this you don't be confused for coding in ANOVA right and the last uh, one is uh, I want to uh, let you know some convenient tip in Excel coding the first one is uh, when you press the enter key in Excel the Excel normally moves the uh, to the cell below the one in which you enter the information is going down in normal situation but as I said when you are coding your responses your coding direction is going right because 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 as I said as I said this is a one person same person so if you code this cell and next maybe you wanna this cell so you wanna go right side after enter after pressing enter right but normally normally the Excel is going down after pressing enter that is one problem very inconvenient so if you uh, if your cell moves to right when pressing the enter key it's very convenient right let's go to the file file is uh, maybe the left the top side of the uh, Excel and uh, after clicking file and then you're going to options and then there is an advanced option so in the dialog box you can change the direction in the after pressing enter move selection this is the name of the uh, advanced option in this option you just change the direction to right the default direction is down mm -hmm. just to change and after that maybe you know your cell is going right after pressing the enter key right this is very very convenient and uh, second 
tip is uh, if function. Uh, if uh, levels of independent variables are coded as characters like uh, uh, bank transfer and a mail check, electronic check, that, that is just the correct characters, right? It's a string variable in, in coding anyway. And if your stat software couldn't identify the characters, you should change the characters into numbers using if function. You can check the how to use if function in Google. Okay, so um, I highly recommend you need to um, practice some coding uh, by yourself. Okay. Okay, uh, today we are done. 4.3 before going to ANOVA. 1A ANOVA 3rd. See you next time. Mm -hmm.